hello there everybody Looney farm guy here with a new odd test for friday april the first it's not april fool's joke either this is the auto load trailer by er shaba 1.91 megabytes to download and six slots on console <laughs> yes i had to check that um yes and it's uh it will auto load Pallets that uh, uh, would uh, pallets that are produced by factories on the uh, in the game. So, why well, the reason I said that is because there are some pallets it won't pick up if it's because uh, it's a pallet that's not a factory production type pallet. Now, let's take a look at it in the store. Uh, it says under trailers, what is not under trailers? It's under miscellaneous. And there it is. So you can see it's like all those items at the bottom that uh, that will uh, that a factory will produce on a pallet, plus a bunch of products that we don't have yet that factories haven't made yet that we have a factory for. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, twelve thousand dollars. It'll hold twenty thousand liters. So that's a lot for pallets. Just saying. So. Uh, yes, the trailer, uh, 3018 auto load. And uh, we have some wheels. Uh, wheel, just basically rim options, one or two. Now, I think it's this one. And we'll get to that in a moment. Color options, not not a lot. Uh, there is a pink. <laughs> uh, but they're all matte colors. Matte yellow, matte orange, matte black, matte red. Uh, the rim color is all of these colors. However, it's just that. So if you want to make it bright green, it just kind of changes the... Oh, let's zoom. That's as far as I can zoom in. Just a little accent on the uh, rims. The other rims, it doesn't change the color at all. So only on rim, standard rim, will the color change just on this little painted piece there all right so right now let's uh do a little demonstration of how it works uh it works very similar to uh, the other auto load trailers we've seen now uh you can open and close the door but you don't need the door open or closed for it to load so just be aware of that uh, lights, signals, no beacons, reverse lights, uh, they're, uh, L1, so you open the door, and R, R1, oh, now it doesn't give me that option to raise and lower it, odd, uh, so just the open the door, or close the door, Yes, okay. Now, to load, you just have to uh, get, basically, get close to whatever it is you want to load up. And there it is. It loads it up. Now, we have 10% in there. So we're pretty safe. If you go up to anything, it won't load anything else. It's only one product at a time. So we're pretty safe there. Uh, for for that to unload L1 or sorry R1 and triangle there it is uh, so if we if we get less than five percent let's see if we can do that whoa yeah there we go see it's uh, 195 pieces now if you get close to something else Yes, it's going to override that. So we're at 6%. I think it's 10 per. Oh, I think it's 5%. If you're over... Yeah. So if you're over 5%, uh, it locks it in there. But if you're under 5%, uh, it, will, uh, it will override whatever you have in there and fill. So the trigger is pretty generous. You can back up to a large quantity of this stuff, and it'll just 
uh, load up. It doesn't seem to have too much trouble um, finding stuff to load into. As you can see now. We'll put some more in and we'll show how you. Uh... There we go. So we're going to go over here and unload. There we go. It just spits it out right at the back like that. Now I have some pallets over there that I bought from a, a pallet. Um, mod and it won't pick any of these up um so this is the seeds or where's the seeds uh seeds yeah this is the base game seeds it doesn't it won't pick that up because it's not something a factory i don't believe a factory will produce a, a pallet of seeds uh, i don't think no i don't think the seed factory we have does that and this is this is corn um, and this is fertilizer and a pallet sue. Let's just go on to pallets. So we got liquid fertilizer salt. So none of these, these base game ones, none of these are fact factories produce them. However, if you get over to say the sugar, the flour, butter, raisins, those are all things that a factory will produce. Uh, these ones, barley, canola, uh, none of these are produced actually on pallets in the game. You can buy them as a pallet, but it's not a factory produced pallet. So now here, let's go, let's buy a bread. So bread, obviously, is something that uh, a factory can produce, and it will put it on a pallet. And as we pull up, there you go. And it'll appear, like I said, you can have that closed, too. Uh, it's going to load that up. And uh, there it is. It's inside there. You can open it up and see. Oh, yeah, we got some in there. Uh, unload. Very simple again. Uh, now we got 9%. So we're safe over here. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, and see, as soon as you do that, it's picked up the sugar. So that's kind of going to be a little tricky, like I said. Uh, there is no way to turn that off. You close the door, open the door, it doesn't matter. You can't turn off that feature. Uh, so you kind of have to be careful what you drive around. Um, other interesting things. Um, let's see. Wool. Wool is produced on a pallet. So now we have a trailer for auto-loading wool. That is actually very quick and handy, as you can see. And, uh, oh, look at that. Aha! I did not, I did not even think to check that, but look at that, it will sell it directly out of the trailer once you go so let's get this sugar let's collect all this sugar here as you can see it's pretty quick in loading it up off pallets which is nice so let's go up and collect all the sugar now that's super handy now this has just become uh, a, a really awesome and, and I don't know I can't remember if the others you can sell the others off see you just drive over the sell point and it's like yeah it's unloading automatically you don't have to unload it so again cautious caution must be had there we go we've sold all that sugar uh, when driving you know over a sell point um, because, uh, well, you, so you could just, you know, inadvertently sell it all if, uh, by mistake. Now, this is, I'm pretty sure, not going to be able to put it in silo. No, okay. Just clothing. You know what? There's one other thing 
I want to uh, cause try because uh, one of these takes clothing. This one. Now, that's another auto load storage place. I have clothing in here. Now, will it automatically load clothing? No. Okay. So, thought I, th yeah, I, I just. <laughs> so there we go. We can we can unload it. Pretty sure this one took. Yeah. Okay. It does take clothing, but it won't auto unload out of the trailer. But we can load and then we'll go to the cell point. Clothing. Yeah. All right. So there we go. Uh, wow. Um, what else? Um, pallets. Produced pallets. Um, pallets of we tried wool, tomatoes, uh, oil, sugar, straw, like all this stuff will, um, grape, scrape juice, furniture. Furniture is extremely heavy. Uh, yeah, 2.1 tons. Yeah, there we go. Well, it's, it's obviously loading. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Is it any heavier? No, that doesn't really feel... Of course, it's hard to tell with just the one. Right, and there it goes. Okay, so... It's it's unfortunate the... Uh, the uh, yeah... So, just so you know, it's it's only pallets that um, factories produce. Period. So any any of the uh, of pallets that you can buy, either from the store or from a mod, um, it won't pick it won't pick it up uh, like these barley and fertilizer pallets and stuff. Uh, it won't pick it up. If uh, if it is not produced by a factory, wow! So that's very cool. Um, we'll just uh, we will wrap things up right now like this. Um, yeah, um, cracking a new mod. That's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. Um, it's cheap. It's it works fast. It holds a good amount of product, and um, you can sell directly from it into a sell point. That's checking a lot of the boxes um, for sure, and has color options. Very nice. Very easy to pull. You can pull it around with something very small, very small tractor, a uh, four wheeler, uh, perhaps even. Uh, let's see. It has a ball hitch. So ball hitch. Uh, that's the auto load trailer by E.R. Shaba under miscellaneous 1.1 1 .1 and 1.91. Did I say that? 1.91 megabytes only. Uh, awesome, awesome little mod. Uh, great to have around if you do anything with uh, production pallets. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's just a game. Till next time, bye for now.